Hello, my name is Evan Neal. I'm going to be teaching discrete structures. You might have heard this class referred to as a different name and discrete mathematics, and that'd be because it is essentially just a math course, but this one is going to be geared towards basic logic. So there are other classes like Foundations of Logic, which cover a lot of early material of the course, and then other things like computer organization, which are more of a CS focused uh, use case of actually utilizing logic in the form of logic gates. So this kind of exists somewhere in between uh, low level logic and actual applied mathematics and computer science. So this goes over to the actual kind of theory behind it. So there's a lot of theory in the course. It starts with very, very simple things like truth tables, proposition of logic, which is uh, any statement that we can make. If it can be declared true or false, is determining all the possible in, like, inputs to it and all the possible outputs. So we have, say, a statement of, say, x is greater than 5. Well, this is a predicate because we have some unknown aspect, but we can fill that in by using basic propositional quantifiers. And we want to try and accommodate every single possible input in the domain. So that is going to be going into all possible values of sectioning down what we might want to have input as. So maybe we want to use all positive integers, maybe we want to use even integers, maybe we want to use all real numbers, if different things. There's so many vast possibilities we can have. And the goal here for the logical aspect is to try and narrow it down to specifically what we want, what we want to analyze at a basis. So we use the same system, which is a bunch of just binary trues and falses as our actual outputs. And we apply that in computer science or in computer engineering in the form of Boolean logic, so ones and zeros. Because everything, if you have one, say, and it with zero, we're going to get a zero. So we can make that into a piece of hardware and put that into a computer and it'll work. Same thing is very similar in computer science for programming languages. If we have a true if statement, so an if statement, say, and did with another like part of it, so if x is greater than 5 and y is less than 6. Well, we're going to take a look at those two different statements and then together we get some result and that will be what we actually apply to the if statement for its actual purpose of if it's going to run or not. So this is kind of looking at the logical foundation that we apply to computer science and computer engineering because it has to start from somewhere. We didn't just make it when we had computers. We already had the logical foundation set up in math. I always have. Well, I guess since we came up with it. But it's been around for a long, long time. And some people asked, did we already have these kind of Boolean systems already set up? Or did we just come up with them as we were making computers? And then it's a mix of the two. Uh, yes, we had some of it set up already, but some of it we kind of refined over the course of time as we've been using this far, far more prevalently. It also goes over some foundations of later things in the computer science department. So like introduction to like algorithms and looking at timing complexities, uh, set up for recursion, induction, and other mathematical quantities. So just a lot of things like that. And then we go over obviously Boolean logic, which is an extension of more of an applied version of propositional logic. And then also we go over proofs, which I don't cover proofs too heavily. I cover the actual theory of proofs, what they're used for, why I kind of care about them, but not the actual going through the process of doing proofs. There are other courses for that. This is not a deep dive into any one topic, but more a broad scope of topics with a more shallow dive to introduce the actual concepts and aspects of computer science, computer engineering, that we take from basic logic. Now, there are courses and other different materials out there that do a deeper dive into those, and I would suggest them if you want, but for the course of this, we're just, we're not gonna go super deep into it. Like with probability logic, you can go to tri or ternary based logic, which is like three different elements. We can take unknown aspects into it. It's not just true and false. We're not gonna be doing that. That gets pretty hairy pretty quickly. And the proofs, obviously, you can go very, very in depth on proofs, you know, the actual process of doing it. Not really gonna touch on that too much, just because 
we're not going to have a whole real need of doing it because there's a lot of things to actually get to. So honestly, the course is kind of a hodgepodge, just a mix up of a lot of different logical aspects that we use in computer science and computer engineering. And so it's kind of a building block process of going from logic to proofs, to sets, to Boolean algebra, eventually to algorithms, induction recursion, and then I think it builds up into, say, some uh, more abstract ideas like trees and graphs and stuff like that. So it's just going to be a journey of going through a bunch of different systems. So hopefully you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys in the later videos. All right. Bye.